Alright, and welcome. As per usual, long time no see. Let's see if I can uh, correct that in the future. So let's talk speed and lift in helicopters, right? First of all, I'm on the Syria map. I'm in Apache for uh, several reasons. It's a great module to fly. It's come a long way. And we can see everything I need to show you. So what you need to know is power from the engines is up here. Our airspeed in knots is this symbol here. Our altitude, radar altitude, above ground level or sea level, wherever we are, is here. And we can also show the barometric pressure altitude, which is 20 feet at the moment, so 20 feet above sea level. Let's not uh, talk too much about that though. Let's get back to this point here. So, the idea here is to try to explain how speed increases lift, and lift in turn will give us the ability to gain more speed. So, what you often see is people taking off, and then they're increasing their speed and altitude in an almost uncontrollable manner. And I'm kind of guessing here, but it's once people are up, they increase the stick pressure to go forward, at the same time as they increase their collective, giving them more power to the engines or from the engines. So, the idea here is to get her off the ground, and we'll get up to a 4 to 5 feet hover, alright, and maintain that hover. Once we're at 4 to 5 feet hover, I will not touch the collective at all until I need to actually come down and land. Alright? So I'll show you how fast and high, or rather just how fast we can go using just the power that we need to hover at 4 to 5 feet. Alright, so if you need to practice this, it's easy. Just pick an airframe, pick a loadout. At the moment, we're at full loadout. Uh, rockets and guided missiles, of course. The Hellfires. We got eight of the Hellfires and full rocket pods. We got 100% fuel. And the reason I enjoy practicing with the have aircraft is to uh, to just get the feel for it and everything is easier when it's lighter. So enough with the talking, let's increase power. Slow and steady, no need to, uh, to jump off the ground like a frog. Alright, so we're at two feet. Let's increase a little more power. Let's get her up to four to five feet, right? Something like this. Right. Five feet, excellent. And let's put her into a hover hold. And uh, let's not go through how to do that. This, uh, this lesson at least. So what you need to know now, my hand is off the stick, my hand is off the collective, and this is just to show you an outside view of the helicopter. So again, we're at 5 feet hovering. The power is at 78-79%, somewhere around that. And as you can see, we're in a stable hover. We're not going up, we're not going down. We're just stationary. Now, when I move my stick forward, we will gain forward momentum, aka speed. The more speed we gain, the more lift the helicopter will produce, and we will begin to gain altitude as well. If we don't want to gain altitude, we need to push the uh, stick more forward, which in turn will give us more speed. And the more speed will give us more lift. Right? 
What is important to understand here, once I push my stick forward, I will not touch the collective for the remainder of the flight, right? It will remain in this position. Once I slow down again, I will know that when I reach zero knots, the ground effect and the power from the engines will give me an altitude of 5 feet. Alright, so let's turn off the hover mode and begin a slow, slow acceleration. Alright, 8 knots, you see already we've gained several feet altitude, so we're at 10 feet altitude. Now, if we want to slow down again, remember I'm not touching the collectives, I'm not touching the power, I'm just slowing down. And you'll see we will come to a stop and a hover altitude of around 5 feet. Now, if we descend too fast, the power and ground effect won't be enough to stop us from hitting the ground. So we can't go from, you know, a 500 feet altitude and just go straight down at, you know, a million feet a second. In that case, we'll crash. So when you slow down, you need to combine the speed and descent rate. I'll show you a little bit faster, so stick forward. Not touching the collective. Yes, slight, slight pressure on the stick. Now let's go a little bit faster this time. See, we're increasing altitude. Just do 20 knots and still we're getting a little bit high. Alright, so if I want to get down to ground level again, I slow down. And the speed decrease will again make us come down lower. I don't want to come down too fast. So keeping the speed up a little bit. Working with the stick back and forth. And let's come to a hover again. As you can see, we're at pretty much zero knots. We are at five feet radar altitude, just as before. Alright, so how can this help us? Well, let's go fast. I'm not touching the collective, I'm just accelerating by using the pressure on the stick and then pushing the stick more forward, right? Now, I don't want to gain too much altitude. So in order not to gain altitude, I need to push the stick more forward. So we're at 50 knots. And you see the power change. This is a uh, thing with the Apache. It shows different power even though I haven't touched the collective, right? Same thing if I uh, turn it a little bit. But I promise you, I haven't touched the collective. And again, let's see how fast we can go with the power produced for hovering at 5 feet. So we're at 90 knots. Just easing off the stick a little bit to uh, get above the fence. And again, a little bit more pressure to get down. Alright, so what if we want to come to a uh, stationary hover again at 5 feet above ground level? Well, we could of course uh, lower the collective come to a quick stop, but that's not what the uh, lesson is about. So, I'll just let the bird gain some altitude. By gaining altitude, I decrease my speed, alright? The less speed I get, the less lift I produce. Also, the higher we go, the less ground effect help we will have. Now, the important thing is, once we get high enough and slow enough, the descent rate will begin to be quite rapid. We need to keep an eye on this. We don't want to descend too fast. If we do that, we 
will uh, crash and burn. So we're at 19 knots, 490 feet above the ground. And let's just bring the speed down a little bit more. And we need to adjust our speed a little, a little bit back and forth here because we will begin to descend a little bit too quickly otherwise. So we got bringing the speed back a little bit more. Let's get down a little bit quicker. And 11 knots. Descent is uh, quite rapid. For, uh, for the purpose of the lesson, that is. So, 250 feet. And we can slow down a little bit more. As long as we increase speed a little bit before we uh, get too close to the ground. Alright, so increasing speed a little bit. Don't want to descend too fast. Sixteen knots, looking good. Fourteen knots. Five feet. It's almost like uh, like reaching a cushion of air once you get down low enough and in, uh, in the correct speed. So it looked kind of a uh, hurry there for a moment. It looked like we were descending a bit too fast, but since I kept my speed and the ground effect helped as well, we were just cushioned up around four to five feet. And again, we're hovering at five feet. And six feet. That's a little bit, uh, five, five to six feet. All right. So, can we do something else with this? Well, of course we can. Let's come into a um, hard turn before coming to a hover. All right. So, increasing speed, slow and steady. And like I've said before, I'm not a helicopter pilot for real. I have finally flown helicopter, which was excellent and fun. But in terms of tactics and uh, stuff like that, it's not—it's uh, not just—it's—it's uh, it's for DCS, right? And the great thing about DCS is it's a simulation and a game. We can do whatever we want. We can crash the bird a million times by learning. All right, so. 60, 70 knots. Let's come around the left turn. And let's just. I'm not gonna touch the collective again. Just come around. Decrease our speed. And a pretty aggressive turn. So speed six knots. Now, as you can see there, since I had no forward speed, I descended too fast. It wasn't fast enough to uh, damage anything, but it was still too fast, which meant we touched the ground. Right? So, remember that. If you need to come down like that, you need to keep some speed up. Let's try it again. So, forward momentum. Clear the olive grapes here, whatever they are. And we'll come around. Uh, we don't need too much speed here. Right turn. Right, you see, we can just come around and turn. We can maintain the altitude. 
and I still haven't touched the collective at all for the entire flight. Alright, so if we want to land, we just lower the collective a few percentages and we'll come to a complete stop and landing. you also need to think about things like what's the altitude of the, power of, uh, the target zone for example you may take off from ground level but the target zone may be at 2,000 feet in which case you're gonna need a whole lot more power in order to uh, to hover so for 16 feet hover and again I can increase push my stick forward we'll descend a little bit gain speed and once we gain speed we gain lift which in turn we can use to push the stick more forward to gain more speed which again will produce more lift and I think you get the idea well that's pretty much it for uh, the speed and lift talk Right, so remember, you don't need to always jerk the collective up and down. You use it, use it comfortably, come to a uh, good understanding of what you need to hover, for example, and you can go from there. Uh, by not using the uh, collective too much, you also can concentrate more on the actual flying of the stick, you won't get into as uh, stupid crashes when you uh, come into a charge zone, for example. Just uh, take it slow, take it easy. And remember, just because you can do well above 100 knots in the Apache doesn't mean you need to, right? So right now I'm just decreasing the throttle. Pulling back some of the stick in order to not come down too fast. And again, increasing the collective because I'm getting a bit slow. Descending too fast. And slowing down, slowing down. That's it for today. Hopefully I'll be able to upload a little bit more frequently. We'll see. I uh, should be getting into some uh, actual combat soon for the uh, tutorials or for the videos at least. Hope you enjoy and if you haven't tried the Apache yet, I suggest you do. It's an excellent module. Uh, just remember that uh, everything shown here today applies for all helicopters. So speed increases lift. Lift in turn can be used to create speed, right? Enjoy! <laughs>